it's like that. That's a subconscious uh, reduction. It's nothing to do with conscious mind. And also before conditioning, if you go up to the dog and you ring a bell, the dog, the dog go up. No, most likely it's going to be a uh, just in that situation. But if for a long enough period of time you can get a person or dog or whatever, or in this case a dog, and you present um, food and another stimulus, you present two stimuluses together at the same time and you expose the dog to it. So the dog was fed for months and months, and every time he was eaten, the bell was rang. You know? So then the dog subconsciously associated ringing of a bell with food. So now after the conditioning has occurred, all you gotta do is ring the bell beside the dog. The dog's con is, you know, has been conditioned and he starts to produce light. No food involved. So his you know his, his conscious mind has been uh, subverted. This is how advertising works. A lot of interest in uh, interest in this. There's a great book by Ellen Taylor. He talks about uh, a lot of these ideas. I have a few of these books here, people will look through them towards the end. Uh, another uh, book, um, Classic Conditioning. Do advertisements political messages subliminally manipulate your perception for a desired goal? Yes, they do. It's a process in uh, psychology and in advertising called subliminal priming. Some interest in uh, uh, books written by academics on it, well, um, but some detail. Here's an example, say Coca-Cola like this. Why do you have models and all these people uh, are good looking people, people of social status beside products? Why, why is the fact that they're there? Well, on one level, you might have, you know, there's this inbuilt sort of coolness factor going on, you know, like that. The people want to be associated with something with someone cool is associated with it, and then hopefully they might be, people might be seen them as cool or something. But then you also have people who will um, subconsciously, the Pavlonian condition, uh, Design, develop these attractions towards items. Like the, they would become a, a, a subconscious attraction towards a product because they're been shown such someone is attractive, just like the food and bed. This is how advertising works. It's basic, it's basic, isn't it? It's, yes. It's sex, isn't it? Completely. Sex sells. There's primal yeah. urges in the human brain. There's two, there's two desires going on there the desire for her and the desire for the yeah. coke. <coughs> coke aspirational. <coughs> Well, so how these companies spend billions and billions of research. We've also got manipulation by colours there, like the colour of Yeah, the yeah. Design. Colours completely black and red. Contrast. You talked about the necktie before. Yeah, there's, uh, there's lots of uh, interesting ideas where subconsciously people can uh, perceive things that they constantly can't perceive. And if you have women in like, a woman in advertisement who's uh, below the view of the camera, then she's subservient to the viewer. In the sexual way, or she's got a uh, tie on or, or a chokers and stuff, then she's, you know, on the dominated over. And like, this works on so many levels, things you won't see consciously, but it works subconsciously. And of course, there's loads of research about that, but most people will uh, laugh at you if you uh, want to talk about that. Here's another example of, you know, where all these 70s pop up sport things. Here's an interesting one that was in the. Uh, a day of subliminal uh, imaging from a cup of cola uh, back in the day. The people see the ice cube on the right as a like, phallic symbol towards a woman with an open mouth the ice cube. You know what I mean? Yeah. <coughs> Just there. Hair, mouth, and nose. <laughs> you, put, you put stuff in like that, subliminally, so uh, people see it. Is that a real advert? Right? Yeah, it's a real advert. I don't know, it's just something, people always laugh at, oh, it's uh, an angry artist or something and done that. But it happens, it comes out all the time, it comes to you. Disney have done it a lot, haven't they? Mm -hmm. people, well, a, lot, a lot of people might have seen this one, this is a great uh, example of uh, uh, subliminal condition. But uh, hidden in this uh, picture is subliminal message, which people might be able to see, but when you see it, you'll see it till the day you die. You can't hold see it. Hidden between the letters, uh, between the plants is the word sex spelled. So it says S E X sex. You know? So you can um, this is uh, this goes on, there's a lot of research to back all these kind of topics up. There's the skittles, yeah. sex explosion. Yeah. You know, I don't see it first of all, but once you see it you kinda of see it. And how who would put that? Like the idea of that deposition, it's obviously bigger. Oh, see so what that's inverted. This is um, 
an example of an academic paper of research is subliminal priming of political campaigns. The use of hidden, sub, uh, using subliminal uh, conditioning and its effect uh, lists on political campaigns. Very interested in uh, the research. Another one, rats, should you use Clinton's subliminal priming of political campaigns? They talk about examples of you know, all this subliminal contents. And there's a, there's a, loads of famous political ads. There's one from the Republican parties during the Bush Curry election and during the election just when there was a picture of Curry on the screen for one like you know frame it took it to the second the word rats appear. You know, and then people subconsciously associate the word rats, dirty, filthy with curry. This is the kind of something on there's owners of examples. People look into it. I already get all these massive promo shots that you see on these pictures, complete PR, but they're based on these same ideas. Oh god, the military's in Afghanistan. Giving little kid balls at the grave, you know. It's a bit of a bomb in the door. Yeah, they're blowing up their family, but now when people see this, a happy child in football, so constantly associated with military being a great thing. No fun, you know. And this is why all, the, all these shots are planned and coordinated. There's three companies going on there as well. They look the red, white, and blue. Yeah, it's quite interesting. You can, there's so much people, oh, people go to so much depth in some of these things, but uh, just to simplify it. Uh, this is an example. We don't see political leaders framed beside the military or uh, behind in front of the military. That's because you then subconsciously associate the political leader with the military and they're being a strong leader and all this kind of stuff. Why isn't he, you know, giving a speech down a bakery or something? It's even there because it's, it has, oh, you know, conscious component but also subconscious component. Here's another one, George Bush. Bush, you know, show like this. <laughs> So people talk, this, if you went to the Pinterest thing, and people point out things, got this massive, overly large crotch and that one. So, uh, <laughs> then the next picture, here he is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, there's, there's no evidence back in this up, but if you look at the way the aprons are designed, why no one else, why has he got this strip going down for his genital? It just looks kind of. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It looks like it's under. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, back to the more the more substance of it. The more substance of it is that the political leader is seen beside some innocent shoulder who he could care down about. You know what I mean? But he's there. Oh, Bush is great. He's sympathetic towards all the uh, all the people who got all pieces, making money for big banks, whatever. And then you go, oh, down with the kids. All these sort of people. These are all carefully planned and coordinated. And one of these. Just Click to print them. Marcel, Marcel, and you will hold you can pull up uh, other conditions as we put in the population to back up your uh, message. So, you know, people want to be conditioned to some religious beliefs. Uh, then you can also back up and have all this religious uh, symbolism going on. And you might think, oh, whatever, it's, you know, who cares about that? But if you control the media, you can have this printed on the front page of every newspaper, magazine, in like the Bible Belt in America. And that's going to get your votes. This is what goes on, you know. They did it with uh, Goldman Sachs from the Sunday Times. And he said um, when uh, Mr. Spence said he was uh, he was doing God's work. Oh yeah. He was putting behind the big hill all the same time. Goldman Sachs. It's incredible. <coughs> so um, uh, maybe we, how long have we been talking now? We can take a little break. Got got. You can go. You can keep going. All right, go. This is the last bit of this section. Only got the. The program and all that. Biological level. So biological level is, you know, uh, the use of no toxins in food to damage brain uh, tissue and impair brain function. Um, toxicants, you know, definition any substance that causes injury, illness, or death to a living organism. The chemical dumping down in society. So you've got more people of higher IQ and less people of lower IQ. It means less critical thinking. Now you go, oh, it's a bit far, far fetched. Well, hang on a second, we've got billions and billions and billions being pumped into research and biological warfare. You know, they're not just playing games, they're, and they're not just thinking about short-term strategies of, you know, vaccines going to kill the population, they're thinking long-term strategies as well. You know, they're covering all bases. So people talk about fluoride, like, um, the country I'm from, Ireland, where the water was fluoridated, uh, most of the uh, published medical articles or papers discussing fluoridation shows that I've lost, and my IQ has been reduced by uh, 15 to 20 percent, or 15 to 20 IQ points. That's great. It's coming in more and more in England now. A lot of Western Europe pushed in like America. Uh, uh, well, what is fluoride? It's not medical grade, pharmaceutical grade. Uh, the chemical compounds are put in. It's industrial waste. 
Now, the milieu and the fertilizer industry and from 